We are at St. Anne Church, but Hastapol, there are so many names uh, for it. That is a French compound that actually uh, the Ottomans gave them after the Cream War, which the French helped them to uh, maintain, oh, they helped them against the rest. Then it's so close. I mean, it's such an amazing place, but everything that you see here is actually from the 19th century. I don't know if you can hear the Muazin calling. That building used to be a seminar for Malkitic uh, Arab uh, priests until 1967. And the White Brothers, and you might see them soon, that um, used to be a missionary people at uh, North Africa. And this is the one that actually established uh, that Catholic order and they got it. It's a huge uh, uh, compound. They got it from the Ottomans. Today you can see here two uh, 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 main places. Here it's the Crusader Church, which is the house of Anna and Joachim. The, uh, that's where Mary, St. Mary, was born. <coughs> and if we're talking about one, one of the miracles of uh, um, from the book of John, then it's here in front of you, but has the poles. Then we are heading now to there. That's Father David. The white dress is a reminder of, um, of the um, missionary in Africa. They used to wear the same clothes that the local people actually wore and it was white now the, the white brother according to the book of john this is the place that um jesus cured a man that couldn't walk for 38 years he couldn't enter to the pools that were here um while the angel came and uh, they moved actually with his wings. The water actually where it became a little bit of wavy. Then here it is. This is the place. We have two churches here. The first one was built at the Byzantine time. And what a huge church. It started from here. And part of it actually reached the water. And look how deep is the pool. Or oh, are the pools. There are actually two pools. One here, the other one there. And uh, when the crusader came at the 12th century, they built a small pool connected to the water. I mean, this is the story. And they built another pool, another church in front of you. You can see the crusader church, the house of Mary. Um, from the 6th and 7th century, uh, it uh, became well known that Mary was here. And, um, and according to tradition, um, Oh, well, let me show it to you. Then, that was the crusade. The Byzantine church had been destroyed by the Persian, mainly by the Muslims later on. And the crusader one is so small here. You can see the difference. The Byzantine and the crusader. We're making a run to run it. Um, Escalpion, that's a word that is very difficult for me to understand. Some people believe that um, because it's very close to D'Antonia, that's where Jesus was charged by, um, by uh, Jesus, and, um, and the soldiers actually use it as a place to uh, mingle, to uh, wash themselves, even to cure themselves. Maybe Adrian was the one that built something really beautiful uh, uh, as kind of a curing pool, as Calpion, that we don't know for sure. Then look how beautiful it is. Location. You can see the location of the, um, the pools. In a way, it's kind of a valley. Today, this is the Muslim quarter, but you can see that it's a high place. And if, and if you will walk with me uh, to the Via del Rosa, which is there, you will, say that you will see that you have to climb a little bit. Then, this is a very low place, and here you have to climb a little bit more. Then, there is a valley, uh, a kind of a small river, that's called Beidzita. 
Bezeta, uh, according to uh, some others. And maybe the word Bethazda, it's actually from the word Bethzaita. Bethzaita, the house of the um, um, olives. True or not, I don't know, but it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful way to understand or to see it. And you can see from here that the pools are just beneath us in the valley. Now, from here you can see something nice. The other side you saw the poles. That was the southern pole. And the uh, uh, Crusader church and the, Greek, uh, the Byzantine church used to sit on the border between the northern pole and the southern pole. The northern pole is here. We are standing on it. They didn't excavate it. You can see a little bit of it. Then, in that case, here it is. Another story is about the... Uh, ship gate, the cattle, yeah, I mean, ship and goats, um, ship and goats. Then in that case, that place at the time of Jesus was outside the wall. Oof, some people believe that they used to clean the, uh, them before they sacrificed them in the temple, as uh, so many other um, um, scholars believe that it wasn't like that. Maybe it was a big market and they used to drink the water from here, but they didn't waste water in Jerusalem for that, mainly because they don't have a lot of uh, options, a lot of um, water system. In that case, every water system was for drinking, for human beings. The entrance to the Crusader Church. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can see that? Yeah, can see the entrance to the Crusader Church in front of you. And they build a huge wall. You can see, you can understand how difficult it was to do that. I'm really a little bit afraid to even to look at it. This is part of the Crusader Church and the Southern Wall. And we are going to see the most beautiful view of the poles. From here you can see the beautiful, you can see how big are the poles now. Let's talk about that pole, which is uh, from the second temple time, King Herod. Uh, used for the water for the pilgrims who came to here for the temple. Now the pool was bigger than that. That part, if you will excavate it, you will find more of it. Um, the other pole that we actually walk through it, which is there, this is from the second temple, uh, sorry, from the first temple time, uh, from the Hashmonite uh, Maccabees uh, time. And you can see here the border between those two poles the southern pole and the northern pole, which begins there, but you cannot see it because they didn't excavate it. Yet. All right, we just enter to the pool, to the second temple, sorry, to the crusaded uh, time. Then it started like that. Second century BC, Hashimnat pool. We're now walking on it and they have to excavate it if you want, if they want to see it for the temple. The other face is the uh, second temple. Second temple pool, which you saw. Let's say, a few hundred years later, the Byzantine will build here a church. That church will be destroyed. And the next stage is 12th century Crusader time, that they built the small church here and St. Hannah. Uh, Salahadin. When he came to here, I don't know if he destroyed that church, but he didn't destroy the uh, St. Anne Church, mainly because uh, Mary, that was born there, very important. She's very important for the Muslims. And um, at the 18th century, uh, he turned it into a school for girls. At the 18th century, he brought it back. We gave it back to the French people. They renovated a little bit, but mostly you can see uh, the original 12th century church. You can see one of the small chapels of, of the church and uh, 
sad thing is that they covered the mosaic floor, uh, but you can see how beautiful it used to be. And here you can see beautifully the, the big ups of the Byzantine church. It's not a small ups, but you can see a lot of water system or water poles. Maybe it's to cure yourself or something like that. Remember, everything was here outside the uh, walls of the city. And, um, uh, and it used to be a Roman place. And the Romans you actually used a lot of poles to purify, that, to, to, to cure themselves. Maybe that was one of them. Remember that they control it, although it wasn't inside the walls that they could build something like that without any problem or without any right from the Jews. We're entering a new compound that they built lately. I tried to enter there before without any success, and now we can do that. Beautiful garden, isn't it? If you need to have a, a mask, then this is a really good place for it. Oh, look at that. oh, sorry. Look at that beautiful mosaic. Is it a replica? Yes, it is. Replica of the 5th century mosaic floor that we found here. Thank you. Thank you. I will reach back to the, the um, mosaic floor. But look how beautiful it is. Mary. Anna and Joachim. The other side is uh, Jesus Kiro, the handicapped man at the pools here. The replica of the 5th century mosaic is, is the actual replica of the mosaic that the chapel that they covered. Then the carpet, the entrance carpet, actually includes um, the vineyard, the grapes, the Jesus, the Anna, and 12 crosses. And in that case, 12 crosses, it actually tells us if it's a floor on the floor, that it's before the 5th century, or not more than the 5th century, mainly because after that, the Pope didn't allow it anymore to build a mosaic floor with crosses without any reason, just for beauty. Then, Jesus in the middle, drink that wine. It's a beautiful, beautiful chapel. This is the first time that I'm visiting here. Then, as you can see in every video, you can find something new. And look at the vineyard right here in front of you. Here it is. And it's beautiful to know that we used to, I mean, it's a big place that they used to fill one of uh, the poles, the northern or the southern, or usually it was the northern because it's more high, it's higher than the, the, it was kind of a dam and we were walking there and then the uh, rest of water were filled here and if the other pole were filled, then the, uh, the northern one was full with water, then they started to, to use that, the, the other one. Remember, it started there, but soon I will show you until where the southern pole ended and this is all right 
מי שרוצה לרדת, זה ירידה ועלייה, אין יציאה בצד השני, אין שם הרבה מקום. אבל רואים את העומק. רואים את העומק של Then in that case, it reached until here. Yeah. The southern, the yeah. south. The, the, the southern, southern pool, yeah. You can see it's quite a big one. You can see how deep it was. Ah, it's Achla. So we don't come on the news. The telephone. Ultra is so much time for Samsung. So people were staying there. It is good. Let's see. Better. All right. Like that? Okay. Está aberto? Está aberto?